Alrighty guys, it's finally happening! We're finally starting the pattern drafting for Draculaura! With the help of my lovely assistant, Patricia. So I started out by sketching out the shape that I want with regular lead pencil. And then once I'm happy with those lines, I go over them again with Prismacolor pencils so that they don't smudge. Seriously, these are great for pattern drafting. And I only drafted half of the pattern because I could just cut out two of each in order to make the dress perfectly symmetrical. And it's the same old song and dance for the back, so I'm not going to repeat myself. And I always make sure to label each pattern piece before I cut it out so I can tell which one is which. This part is very important. And now we use these pattern pieces we drafted in order to cut out the actual pattern pieces we're going to be using for the mock-up. And this is me drawing in that seam allowance you're going to need. I cut out the center piece on a fold so that way it comes out perfectly symmetrical. I also made sure to label my mock-up pieces differently from my drafted pieces so I can tell which one is which. The main difference is that the mock-up pieces have seam allowance where the drafted pieces don't. We want this to actually fit me. And I just repeated the same process for the back pieces. Also, while drafting this pattern, I made sure to measure how long I wanted the base dress to be, which will be right below my kneecap, plus seam allowance for the tiered mermaid skirts. And now it's time to sew it all together. Even though this clip is sped up, remember to go slow and take your time. So here it is, all sewn together. However, that's not the end of it. After trying it on, of course, I needed to make a few adjustments. I had to take it in in a few places so it wasn't so loose fitting, as well as taking in the back. After that was done, it was time to move on to the skirts. And I'm just using a pre-made pattern for a circle poodle skirt that I had lying around because I don't math. And as you can see, the waist was way too tiny for me, so I had to enlarge it by a lot. And I'm also making each skirt in two panels to reduce bulk. And I'm not really worried about the hemline being too even because I'm going to cut it into those bat wing scallops later. And so I had something like this when I was done. And I had to cut it out again. And after sewing it together, pinning, and a lot of adjusting, I finally got the first skirt to fit onto the dress. And the reason it's so long on the floor is because I'll be wearing platform shoes with this, so I had to take my added height into account. As for the other two skirts, I made two copies of the original skirt pattern out of notebook paper and, and just made each of them shorter than the original. And then it was the same process I did for the first skirt for the next three. And finally, boom, all sewn on. And then this is me trying on the dress for the first time. And I was so happy with how it turned out. And I hope you guys are too. Stay tuned for the next episode. I'm so excited!